So before we get to the complete scale, the complete descending D major scale, well, and the ascending D major scale, the first thing we want to do is combine the hands with the bow and play on one string at a time. And why are we going descending only, and why are we going one string at a time? Well, by doing the descending finger pattern here, four, three, one, open, I'm starting with all the fingers down. And this is really important for my hand shape, for setting the hand in first position, okay? As a beginner, if I'm going up like this, okay, I can start to have some bad habits, all right? I can kind of, it, there, there's a tendency, I mean, of course, there's always a, a bad way to do anything, right? I can, I can go down just as incorrectly as I go up. But if my hand is set, okay, remember checking thumb, thumb behind second finger, got to make sure we reiterate that, right? Thumb is rounded just like on the bow hold over here, okay, and thumb behind second finger. This thumb second finger relationship is always, always the case, yes? But by starting with all the fingers down, I'm really, really set here in first position, and I can lift the fingers, okay, and keep them, it's a little easier to keep them rounded, okay, to keep them in position, all right, keep them on the tapes if you're using tapes. And what I want to do is I want to play my twinkle variations, all the rhythms, on one string at a time before I do the entire scale coming down from the A string and transitioning to the D string. And what do I mean by that? So let's do, let's do variation A here as an example. Let's do it three times in a row. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, and... And just like with the descending scale, as you're going to see, maybe put a pause in there so you can really set the hand, check everything, okay? And you'll eventually you'll get faster at checking, all right? But what do I mean by the pause? Let's do it with a pause in the middle. Check, make sure I'm in position, okay? Fingers are down. One string at a time with lots of repetitions. Let's do it on the A string. By playing on one string at a time, I really eliminate that variable of switching between strings, okay? My elbow doesn't move a lot. My arm doesn't raise or lower a whole bunch, but it's enough, okay, going from open to down. That is the motion we're trying to learn, right? By staying on one string, you can really isolate this, okay, and really develop some good habits, all right, and some good left hand shape, all right? So that is next. So be sure and use the video below. Use the loops on the cello online school, and I will see you in the next part of this course.